Chapter 15 After a couple of days of playing catch with the skeleton, After a couple of days of playing catch with the skeleton, training it to not bite my feet. <laughs> okay, stop. After a couple of days of playing catch with the skeleton, training it to not bite my feet, trying not to move so much that the enormous wound on my back will fully heal, Fig finally returns. I'm completely like her now. The long, gooey horns, the white and red splotched flesh, the large eyes and small mouth, the bouncy latex skin. My movements are just as unnatural as hers. I'm like I'm claymated or computer generated. You're like me now, Fig says from above. Her sque her screek her squeaky squeaky. It's not a word. Her squeaky voice is like needles to my ears. You do belong here. She drops a rope down to me. You have to play with me, she says. No running away? I'll be good, I say. My voice is alien. It is just as squeaky as hers. My voice... I'm not doing a squeaky voice. My voice box must have been turned to rubber. The rope is easy to climb with my new lightweight body. I could probably even climb the cliff with ease. I look back to see the skeleton climbing the rope after me, chattering its teeth at my ankles. As soon as I get out, I'm going to take off. I need to get back to Stacy. Hopefully she'll still recognise me when I come out. Hopefully I'll be able to change back. Halfway up, Fig says, Don't think you can run away. Good Zephrans are guarding the bridge. Bad Zephrans are under the bridge. I just want to confirm that I've been saying the word Zephrans because that's what's fucking written in the book. Z-E-P-H-R-A-N-S. Zephrans. That's... I keep climbing. The skeletons aren't going to stop me. If I have to start cutting off Fig's fingers until she orders them to go away, I will. Even if I have to kill her, nothing's going to stop me from getting back to my love. Page break. Paragraph break, sorry. Outside the mineshaft, Fig feels my new skin. I check it out myself in the new lighting. What? Outside the mineshaft, Fig feels my new skin. I check it out myself in the new lighting. Right. My nipples and body hair have disappeared. The hair on my head has grown in. I wonder if my eyes and hair have become red. Stacy's going to freak out when she sees me. Let's go play, Fig says, like an excited little girl. She's such a sad, lonely creature. No wonder she's always been crying, weeping out of Stacy's vagina for the past twenty-odd years. I follow her through the field of orange flowers, just waiting for the right time to grab her. There aren't any skeletons with her, but that doesn't mean they aren't around. My skeleton follows behind us. I'm not sure whether it's on my side or hers. This is going to be fun, she creaky says. What game do you want to play? I creaky say. She hops up and down at me. I go to grab her, but I fall over as the ground starts rumbling. An earthquake. What's going on? I ask. Is this the one? She says, looking around. I watch the trees thrashing over us. Follow me. She says, just in case. <sighs> okay. We run up the hill, stumbling on the shaky ground, trying to get to the highest peak in the valley. We enter the mansion and go up to the roof where the other cartoonish people are standing. 
They are all looking in one direction, in the distance. Is this the one? Is this the one? Fig yells over the rumbling. What the hell is going on? I stand up on the table to see over the crowd, to see what they are looking at. They are all looking toward the cliff where I came from. But there is nothing of interest over there. Wait a minute. Stacy's not... A geezer erupts out of the cliff, the side of the cliff, a burst of white fluid, then another burst of white fluid, then an- oh fuck. Oh god. I got so absorbed into this weird fantasy place I forgot it was a, a fucking pervert wrote this. A geezer erupts out of the side of the cliff, a burst of white fluid, then another burst of white fluid, then another. She is. Stacy's having sex. I can't keep my mouth closed. Like an avalanche, the valley fills with some guy's cum. Some guy Stacy's cheating on me with. It's only been a few weeks and I'm still inside her. What is she doing? I step down from the table as the earthquake calms down. She didn't even use a condom. What the hell is she thinking? What if she gets a disease? She wouldn't have sex with me without a condom for months after we had been dating. After she sent me to the doctor to make sure I was completely STD free. How could she? The crowd keeps staring off into the distance. This could be it, Fig says, pointing to a crater a couple of miles away from the cliff. A lake of sperm oozes across the landscape, flooding the trees, some houses. As the white gook enters the crater, the people hold their breath and look up at the sky. Watch for it, Fig tells me, pointing at the clouds. I look up. The clouds scatter, as if wiped away with a rag, revealing the dome-shaped purple sky. Then the entire crowd leaps up with insane cheering as a pink film stretches across the atmosphere, covering us like a blanket. It happened! It happened! Fig cries. I don't have to ask I don't have to ask to know what they are cheering about. I already know. Stacy's been impregnated. I drop to my butt and look away. My skeleton is in a corner, smacking spiders out of webs and chattering its teeth at them. I place my rubbery hands in my face. The tears feel foreign against my skin. Ha! Fig squints her face, pointing at me. You can't leave now! I wipe my eyes. I told you, she says. You're going to play with me forever. Mum said so. She's never wrong. Oh no, that's not the end of the chapter. God damn it. She's right. I can't leave. Not for a decade or two, at least. The impregnation cut off the tunnel between this world and the other. We're no longer inside Stacy's body. We're inside of her babies. The opening on the cliff's face has disappeared. I'm trapped in here until a new one opens. Once Stacy's child is old enough to let me through. And even then, I don't know if my new body will be able to survive out there. Pardon me. I wander through the mansion, pacing the musty halls, ignoring the inhabitants, pushing Fig and my skeleton away from me when they try to follow. How could Stacy do this to me? Not even a single month has gone by and she's already sleeping with somebody else. She's the one who forced me to come here. Why didn't she send somebody in to look for me? This can't be right. She loves me. She would never do this to me. Maybe it wasn't her fault. Maybe she was raped. Or maybe it was some kind of accident. Maybe some guy had volunteered to come into this world to search for me, but accidentally ejaculated while trying to climb through her vag vaginal tunnel. <sighs> Or maybe the guy never believed her about the world in her womb. Maybe she just thought Stacy was some crazy chick and thought he could take advantage of her. You want me to enter your vagina? Sure, no problem. Or when she, when he was trying to climb inside, maybe Stacy just got swept up in the moment. 
she could have been so turned on as he tried to tried entering her that they ended up screwing instead of saving me. That's something I always hated about Stacy. She's the type of person who always gets swept up in the moment. Whenever she's having a good time with her friends, she'll always forget about the plan she had with me. Whenever guys flirt with her, she always flirts back, even when I'm standing right next to her. I know she loves me, but sometimes her emotions blind her and carry her away. For all I know, she could have done it to tease me. It's just like Stacy to get turned on by the idea of having sex with some strange guy while I'm trapped inside of her. I'm sure the idea would have turned her on. I always hated her sick fetishes. Like how, like how she sometimes liked to choke me or choke herself while fucking. She had some kind of neck fetish. I especially hated when she would t lie on top of me and fuck my throat. So we're back to this. How do you... F How does a woman fuck someone? She liked the feeling of my Adam's apple against her clit. All right, you've explained it. She liked the feeling of my Adam's apple against her clit and liked to choke me with her thighs. She also made me hum while she was grinding my neck so that my voice box would work like a vibrator. <laughs> Fucking God. Jesus, fuck. I want to leave her for sleeping with another guy. I want to kick her out of my house and tell her I never want to see her again. But I can't. I'll never be able to leave her for as long as I live. End of fucking chapter.